um, when they're up there performing. And then, of course, um, this is a live show. Make sure that you're quiet and not talking to your neighbor during the show because we all want to enjoy it. I know. I bring you down with that, and I'm sorry. But in a few minutes, we're going to have the artists come out. And thank you so much for coming by. We've got a lot of great shows coming up in April, don't we, Whitney? So, yeah, so follow PNC Live Studio, too, because she gets them up there quickly. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone, please welcome Nathan Graham.
know you at your word Tell me lies and I'll find a way to compromise Until I've got nothing there Well, I'd be your fool I can't help myself chance of you making my heart be with somebody else Will I be your fool I can't help myself Rather take the chance of you breaking my heart and be with somebody else Yeah, keep it going for Nathan Graham. Nathan's at the Old Church tonight, the Old Church Concert Hall with Lily Hyatt, and the debut LP is out now called Saint of Second Chances. What does that mean? Are you the saint? Yeah, uh, I, well, maybe. I don't uh -huh. know. Um, and do you feel like this is a second chance? What's happening in your life right now? Yeah, well, I mean, this is like my fourth. Ah. Probably fifth. I don't know. <laughs> um, I've had a lot of musical lives, so it's like, you know, being, in, uh, being mostly in blues bands growing up. And then, like, being a guitar for hire for, like, you know, hip-hop and rock bands, blues bands, didn't really matter. As long as they needed a guitar and they had money, I would, I would be there. Somebody <laughs> told me you started playing in Chicago blues clubs when you were, like, 14. That's right, yeah. That takes guts. Yeah. How long had you been playing guitar at that point? Like, two years. Good golly. <laughs> so you would just go show up on, and, like, knock on the stage door and say, let me in. Well, okay, so, uh, yeah. So basically they had, like, a lot of, uh, a lot of open mics, on, but usually on, like, Sundays and Mondays. So it was, like, you know, people who also wanted to be up on stage as well. And then a couple of those guys, like, that ran the open mics, they were like, you're pretty good. And I was like, really? And I was like, yeah, you you got something. I was like, oh, all right. And they were like, well, what about Friday night? Can you come and play? And I'm like, well, I'm 14. Yeah, were you supposed like, to be in there? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they said, sit there and you don't move. And also my parents came with me a lot of times. So now I know uh, some of your musical inspiration came from your parents. Are they musicians or just big fans of music? They're just big fans of music. Okay. Yeah. So how old were you when you first started playing guitar? Uh, about 12. Yeah, about 12 years old. Yeah. And it was blues that attracted you. Is that right? No, actually. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Okay, so yeah, it was it was essentially blues. But I remember, um, I you know, I would listen to. I actually went to the Taste Chicago, and there was a band playing there, and they were kind of. I think they were playing like the Santana sort of thing, and I saw this guy with a like a blue Les Paul, and I didn't know what a Les Paul was at the moment, but I knew it was like that was cool. He looked cool. I wanted to do that. Whatever that was, I wanted to be doing that. So, um, and then I like quickly learned about like Lenny Kravitz and uh, Los Lonely Boys. And uh, I just started reading articles and, like, going back to what they listened to. And it all led back to blues music. So I was like, all right, let me learn that. So when you think of blues music in this country, you do, of course, think about Chicago. But you think about Clarksdale, Mississippi, and Memphis, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. How do these different areas, how does it sound different? If I'm listening to blues, would you know if it's from Mississippi or Memphis? It's a yeah. different sound. Yeah, because, I mean, like, you know, like, Chicago blues is... <laughs> That's Chicago blues. Uh, and then, like, Clarksdale is... A little more of a country twang, almost. Right? So it's more like that. And then, like, Memphis blues is a little bit more... It has a little bit more, like, an R&B tinge to it. So it's, it's more, um, you know... So it's a little bit more slinky, you know. That so deserves a round of applause right there. <laughs> It was not rehearsed. <laughs> so are you trained professionally, classically? Did you take lessons when you were a kid to I learn did. how to do this? Um, I did. I took some lessons. And I, I don't really say he was – he kind of taught me how to play guitar through play, learning how to play songs. So I would learn how to play, like – I'd be like, how do, how do I play, in, like, In Memory of Elizabeth Reed? And he was like, cool, I'll teach you how to play that, and I'll tell you why that's cool. And that was the way that I kind of figured out how to do, uh, you know, different scales, different um, – uh, modes and things like that and you know kind of feel my way around the guitar you're yeah. super talented my last question for you nathan you said i'm gonna read it so i get it right you said in an interview recently talking about chicago blues that you could hear a musician destroy your life in just one note 
First of all, what's the note so we can avoid it? <laughs> and what does that mean? I mean, uh, I mean, because I, you know, it's like I could, I could do, you know, right? You can do all that, right? Yeah. But it doesn't hit you as much as. That gave me right? chills. It's that gave me yeah. chills. <laughs> I get it now. Yeah. All right, one more time for Nathan Graham. Thank you, Nathan, for being here. play I'm gonna play a song we just shot a video for um, and hopefully it'll come out this summer so it's called a uh, right one spend my life as a selfish man It's a little better because the, the first time I, I came to Portland, I got kicked off a tour. Uh, the second time I came to Portland, I got to open for Ben Harper. And uh, the third time I got to be with y'all, so thank you so much. Don't you feel better, better off alone? Does it make you feel like a man and know she's waiting at home? Don't you feel sorry, sorry for yourself? For showing up sure but still hard, you thought nobody could say. Left the part 
today And no one cared you made a fool of yourself Now I always thought that you know best But that cocaine smile can have its very deep in your chest Saw you going down Going down in flames But I guess I just didn't know that I was doing the same Tell you the truth, I needed your excuse. To tell you the truth, I needed someone to blame. And I can't pretend like I was the good one. I can't pretend I'm playing by the rules And I didn't know how fast we were falling mm, If only we knew If only we knew time I was here I got to bring my mom with me and uh, <laughs> she uh she immediately like she was she wanted to see like the you know the walk on the Portland sign and all that stuff and and then she, we you know I had left and went to sound check and she goes she, I get this text message and she goes like like I've been to so many good places and all of them have amazing coffee <laughs> it's like there's not one bad coffee spot um, and this, uh, it's, it's oddly enough, this last song uh, was actually written um, because of that tour that I told you I got kicked off of. So um, it's funny that it's that it's all full circle. You know, I'm in a good, I'm in a good spot now. So thank y'all for having me too. This is amazing. Um, I didn't. Uh, I got, you know, I got, I got this, uh, I got the call for this maybe about four or five days ago, and I was really worried that there was going to be nobody here, and uh, I'm really happy that y'all were, you know, showed up. Spend all of my time. Sleep at the wheel Never thought I'd get too far I crawled down this road last noon I just want my story told Leave a trail of broken hearts So we weren't meant to suffer Too much pride to cry
after time I lean after Jolene What's the name of this old town? So we weren't meant to suffer, but I'd rather die young and fade away. I, I'll get it Keep it going for Nathan Graham. Pick up his debut LP. It's called Saint of Second Chances. Uh, before the show, I asked Nathan if his band was on this tour with him. He said, no. Who needs a band? <laughs> There's a whole orchestra happening right here. Thank you. Nathan's uh, kind enough to do a meet and greet. We're going to let him go back to the glamorous and luxurious Bymart backstage green room. And if he decides to come out and leave all the glamour behind, Meet us in the back of the house for a meet and greet. One more time for the uber-talented Nathan Graham. Thank you. 